As Donald Trump's legal problems continue to grow, Democrats are making a big push for transparency. More than three dozen House Democrats called for cameras in the courtroom during the DOG's cases against Trump. It is something Trump's own attorney was asking for just a few weeks ago. The first thing we would ask for is let's have let's have cameras in the courtroom so all Americans can see mm. what's happening in our criminal justice system. And I would right. hope the Department of Justice would join in that effort so that we, we take the curtain away and all Americans get to see what's happening. Earlier today, our friend Neil Katayal laid out the importance of having those cameras in the courtroom. Here's why. Don't underestimate Donald Trump's ability to try and, you know, say stuff outside of court and his, you know, his party and his lawyers and so many others, all of which can undermine the decorum anyway. The best check on that, this is something one of our greatest justices, Louis Brandeis said, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Let the American people see this trial for themselves day in and day out and make their own determinations. We shouldn't be, you know, relegated to secondhand descriptions and some courtroom sketches of what's going on in that courtroom. Meanwhile, the former president launched a threatening post on his social media site earlier today, writing this, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. Just a few hours later, prosecutors proposed a protective order citing that very truth social post. They're asking the judge to stop Trump from sharing sensitive documents with the public turned over by prosecutors. This all happened less than 24 hours after the judge directly warned him that bribing, influencing, or retaliating against witnesses is a crime. And tonight at a campaign event in the state of Alabama, he went after the special counsel. But despite the demented prosecution of our movement by our corrupt and highly partisan Department of Injustice and deranged Jack Smith, doesn't he look deranged? You see the picture with the purple robe? He's a deranged human being. We're getting stronger by the day. Somebody said, you should treat him nicer. Maybe he'd be nice. Let me tell you, this guy is a lost soul. The Republicans better get tough and they better get smart because most of them look like a bunch of weak jerks right now. And you got to get tough and smart and you have to fight fire with fire. You can't allow this to go on. Quick asterisk, Department of Injustice. The majority of things laid out in this indictment came directly from the January 6th hearings. And reminder, almost all of those witnesses were Republicans. And despite spending the evening in nearby Alabama, the former president did not appear in Florida today for the superseding indictment arraignment in the classified documents case. Instead, he entered a not guilty plea through his attorneys.